الله وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد so continue on this is the second sitting in which we'll discuss a little bit about understanding the names the divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that these characteristics as we said before are unique to Allah and we describe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only by how he describes himself in the where in where where does Allah describe himself Rashad which where where how do we know how to describe Allah if we're going to talk about Allah's characteristics or his names where do we get it from uh, from the Quran from the Quran good and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam jazakallah khairan so we know that when we talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine names and characteristics we're talking about it only comes from those two sources from the Quran or from a sahih hadith you know from hadith that are authentic hadith uh, ne- uh, from the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam where the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam described for us about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we don't go beyond that as, as the statement of Imam Ahmed illustrated and the sh- statement of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah also illustrated and so let's read uh, I need my reader let's read Surah Al-Ikhlas and that will also give us a little bit of insight about this, these important principles okay so where's my reader go ahead and, and read Astaghfirullah So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said after Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, He said, uh, say, He is Allah the One. So Allah talks about Himself as the One. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's one of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine names and attributes. Allah is al-Ahad. That means no one else has that divine characteristic like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is al-Ahad. Okay? He is the, the one. And there is none like unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah samad. Allah is the self-sufficient master. Everything depends upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one in his creation, we can't make a comparison between Allah and his creation. For example, we'll just talk about humanity. People, we have shortcomings. We're imperfect. We make mistakes. We make sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is free from perfection. From, free from imperfection. Allah is perfect. Allah makes no mistakes. We need Allah. Allah doesn't need us. Everything needs Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything needs what? Everything needs who? Naam. Everyone needs Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah created the heavens and earth and He is a samad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the self-sufficient master <coughs> whom all creatures need. Uh, he begets not, nor was he begotten. Meaning that Allah does not have babies. Allah doesn't have a son. Allah doesn't have a daughter. Allah doesn't have a girlfriend. Allah doesn't have a wife. Okay, Allah doesn't need anyone. And nor was he born. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is free from that. But Allah's creatures, like you and I, we're born. Allah's creation, humanity, and the animals, they're born to a mother and father. Except those unique situations, for example, Adam, alayhi salatu wasalam. Adam, alayhi salatu wasalam, was created by Allah. He didn't have a mother. He didn't have a father, alayhi salatu wasalam. Jesus, alayhi salatu wasalam, was born to Mary, and Jesus, alayhi salatu wasalam, didn't have a father. This is because Allah subhanahu wa taala created him in the butt, in the stomach of Maryam. Uh, Alayhi salatu wasalam. And this shows us that uh, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creatures need Allah and they're dependent upon Allah and they are born. Allah created them. Allah is not born nor uh, Allah wasn't born 
nor did he give birth. And that's very important for us to know. So we cannot compare Allah to his creation. Allah's divine names and characteristics are unique to him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is perfect. Then the last ayat says, uh, and there is none equal or comparable to him. Meaning nothing is like Allah, Rashad. Nothing is like Allah. Nothing can be compared to Allah. We cannot compare things like I can compare you to me. For example, I'm taller than you. You're shorter than me. Those are characteristics. But we cannot compare Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to his creation. Allah created his creation. He's in, independent of his creation, but we need him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah is unique in his divine names and attributes. Some other divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that all of you are familiar with in Surah Al uh, Hasha. Qala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabihi al kareem Huwa Allah ladhi la ilaha illa huwa al malak al quddus al salam al mu'min al muhaymin al aziz al jabbar al mutakabbir. Subhanallah amma yushrikun. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al Hasha. Hasha. He subhanahu wa ta'ala says about himself. He said, He is Allah beside whom La ilaha illa huwa. None has a right to be worshipped except Him. The King, the Holy, the one free from all defects, the giver of security, the watcher over His, create, over his uh, creatures, the Almighty, the Compeller, the Supreme. Glory be to Allah. High, of, high is he above all that they associate as partners with him. So the people who say Allah has a son or a daughter, Allah is free from that. And Allah declared himself or stated that he's free from that in the Quran. And that's what he stated in Kulhu Allahu Ahad, Allahu Samad, Lam Yalid, Wa Lam Yulad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, was not born, nor did he give birth. And nothing is like unto him, as Allah affirmed for himself and distanced himself at the same time from his creation. Nothing is like him. Nothing is compar comparable to Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ وَهُوَ السَّعِيمٌ بَصِيرٌ Allah says this about himself. He said, there is nothing like Allah. So this, he negates that anything is comparable to him in his divine names and attributes. Nothing is like Allah. And then Allah affirms that He is a Sami al Basir, that Allah is all hearing and all seeing. Allah sees everything. Allah hears everything. That means that Allah has the characteristic of hearing and seeing, but it's not like His creation. For example, you can hear, you hear me speaking right now, right? And you can hear if there's something maybe in the hallway, but you cannot hear an ant. You cannot hear an ant. You cannot hear a flea. You cannot hear all the birds. You can't hear what's going on in the desert right now. You can't hear what's going on in America, Canada, and Britain. No. You can only hear what your limited ability is. So your ability is limited. Your characteristics are nuts. They're limited. But Allah is free from perfection. Allah hears as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees. But His hearing and seeing is not like, uh, not like us. And we are not like Him. We're imperfect, and Allah is perfect. So does Allah see? Does Allah see? Yeah, because He said it about Himself. So someone who says that Allah doesn't see, you've got to question their Islam, because Allah said what? He said, And He is the all-hearing, and he's the all-knowing. Allah hears everything. Allah sees everything. And the next time, uh, in our next lesson, we'll talk about some specific attributes that, that are affirmed from the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, about Allah, that Allah speaks about himself, and the Prophet وسلم, affirms about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in authentic hadith. Because that's where we take our understanding of Islam. We take it from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And I ask Allah the Almighty accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct 
was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabi no Muhammad.